Hello fellow mystery fans, I am Rosalka, we are playing Eagle Eye Mysteries and before we continue the case of the Ghastly Ghost, I think I should just explain why this is, why our name has suddenly changed. Basically, um, I actually finished the case but I hadn't realised that between videos my cat had actually pulled it out, pulled out the microphone in any case, so um, our name is currently Cat Messed Up. So, or cat mess up, so because the name wasn't quite big enough, but we will continue and when we can get back into the cases because um I, I also did it for the next case as well, so so yeah, so in two cases time we will return back to our normal profile, but in the meantime, let us play. Off we go to Taylor Park. Alright, let's see who's here. Look! Christine Lee and Kathy Bragg are waiting here with a bunch of baseball equipment. They're members of the softball team that Nicola Hamill coaches, which you may remember from the previous episode, where she was taking care of them in the Pelford Pop. Pelford Pop. Hey guys, got a softball game today? Yeah, we're playing in an hour. We're playing the senior socks over in Mount Vernon. It's a big benefit game. Nicola is supposed to pick us up here so we can meet the rest of the team on Mount Vernon High School. At Mount Vernon High School. At first, Nicola said she couldn't coach us today because the game was later than usual. She said she had to work. But yesterday, she said she'd figure out a way to be here. She cares a lot about the team. Did you got, Did you know that she saw a ghost last night at the Egyptian Theater? It was pretty scary, supposedly. No, I hope it doesn't mess up her coaching. We're going to need her best coaching if we're going to beat the senior socks. Ah, and that explains the entire thing. I mean, like, no one else really had anything else to tell us. So, that's the big breakthrough. Nicola Ham is a little liar. Let's see, who's at Richview Mall? Oh, it's Nicola Hamble! In such a beautiful pose. Y you look quite awkward, Nicola, are you alright? You're not gonna fall over? You're having a stroke? Heart attack? Something like that? Hey, isn't that Nicola Hamble over there by the sporting goods store? Let's go talk to her. Hi there. I'm just picking up a few extra so supplies for the girls' softball team. We have an exhibition game today at Mount Vernon High. What are you two doing? Oh, just hanging out. We heard you saw a ghost at the Egyptian theater. Yes, I did. It was that lady who died there, Nicaragua Tombell. She was glowing green and floating in the sky. I turned and ran out of there. Can you tell us exactly what happened? Sure, but I'll have to be quick. I'm supposed to pick up some of the girls at Taylor Park in a few minutes. Last night, I had to—I had just started to clean the theater when the broom and dustpan, yeah, with the broom and dustpan, when I looked, when I heard this moan, I looked up and there she was. I got scared and dropped the broom and ran home. In the morning, I called Mr. Starr and told him I couldn't come in today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to finish getting those supplies. You're a little lion, Nicola Hamble. We're gonna prove it. Do 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 do. Do. I think <laughs> I think we're ready to solve this mystery. Select the five clues that best prove our case. Where's the line that says Nicola Hamble is a little liar? Not there? Ah. Oh. Ah oh, well. Um <laughs> that's a good one. That's a very good one because she said she threw it around and she didn't. Uh that's an extremely good one. And that's a great one. Oh, we need one more. Huh. I don't think whether or not there's a t scientific proof on whether ghosts are real or not is a clue, but I think we will go with this one. Those clears, those clues are hauntingly clear. If you think the ghost is real, point her out. If you think the ghost is a ho hoax, point out the person who you think made up the creepy cinema story. Oh, Nicola. Sorry, Nicola. You're going down. You're right. 
Nicola and Hannibal made up the story about the creepy ghost, and you can explain why. Let's check the evidence. Nicola Hannibal is the only one to see the ghost. Was she telling the truth? Let's examine her story. She said she had just started to clean the, the theater with the boom, broom and dustpan when a ghost appeared. She told us she dropped everything and ran straight home. But when we examined the theater, we found it was clean and neat. The broom and the dustpan had been put away in the closet, and Mr. Starr said no one had touched anything si since Nicola left. Why would Nicola make up such a story? Because she wanted to coach the softball game that afternoon. She told a fib to get out of work. She should be fired. Ah. <sighs> Wee. Did you guys see the, the paper this morning? Cat Mess Up's detective work made the front page. Way to go, Cat Mess Up. Even ghosts can't scare an eagle off detective off in the case. Uh, the eagle eyed detectives off a case. Let's stick that clipping in the scrapbook. Is Las Vegas sinking? Isn't Las Vegas landlocked? I mean, like, I know I'm Australian, so I don't really know much about American geography, but I'm pretty sure it's landlocked. But maybe you can answer that for me. Is it sinking? Ghost proved to be a fraud. Nicola Hamble confessed today that her story about seeing the ghost of Nicarel Tumbell was all a lie. She wanted an excuse to avoid work for an afternoon so she could coach a softball game. Miss Hamble admitted that she actually cleaned the theatre as usual and went home last night. In the morning, desperate to attend the game, she made up the, the story, the ghost story, in a phone call to Mr. Starr. Cat Mess Up noticed Mrs. Hamble's story didn't match the evidence. When we searched the theatre, there were no clues, fellow sleuth Drake said. But that should have been... Hmm. But there should... There should have been. Sometimes no clue is actually the big, biggest clue of all. Did she get fired? Who knows? She should have been. I mean, like, if I got caught lying to my boss, I'm sure that would not bode well for me. Anyway, let us continue. Let's do the case of the angry arsonist. Whee! Come on, hurry up. Jake, you're just not good at that game. Just let Jennifer play again. Oh, it's a radio one. Attention all cars! Attention all cars! Firefighting crews have put out a blaze at Grimes, Novelties, and Gags. Arson investigation team to report the to fire scene immediately. Fire Chief Wu is on scene. A fire at Grimes, Novelties? Sounds like police think someone deliberately tried to burn this down the store. Let's see if we can go over there and... The, let's get over and then see if we can help out. And like with every second case, I'm going to switch to Jennifer. Work with Jennifer. Alright, let's go over to Grimes. Which just sounds dirty. Grimy, grimy novelties. There. A little bit faster, Jenny. Poor Mr. Grimes. The firemen have done a good job of putting out the fire, but look at this mess. Let's see what clues we can find out. Where are my boxes? I want my boxes. Now let's speak to Police Chief Wu. Who, who doesn't really look Asian, so I don't know why he's called Police Chief Wu. Anyway, the fire started at 10 o'clock last night when the shop was empty, so luckily there were no injuries. But it looks to me like this fire was deliberately set. My report will list it as a clear-cut case of arson. All right. Uh, let's speak to Mr. Grind. Actually, let's look at this. A can of gasoline is sitting on the ruined case in the corner of the shop. The gasoline can is empty, but smells the smell of fumes is very strong. Good find, Cat Mess Up. The gasoline in this can was probably used to start the fire. I'll take it down to the crime lab and have it examined for fingerprints. What? You didn't find that? Really? It's just sitting there. What's wrong with you, Police Chief Wu? Obviously you're looking only in the one direction. You need to look in the other direction, man. The other direction. Anyway, I've only got like ten seconds left, so I'm going to cut the video and we will come back. See you soon.